The long flight from Japan to Alaska was a welcome break from the cycling. I looked at my watch to see the time was 11.30pm. For the first time in my life, I would be living in the land of the midnight sun. Flying over these mountains gave me a glimpse of the wild, raw beauty that was awaiting me. I couldn't be more excited to be arriving in Alaska. So I've just arrived in Alaska. It's midnight and look outside. It's fully daylight. This is crazy. Right, I need to go get my baggage and hopefully I'll be meeting some lovely Alaskans that have said they'll host me for tonight. So it's, uh, it's Father's Day. We've come out for some pizza with our dad. Yeah, here's dad, here's his daughter, not homie. <laughs> We've also got some ales coming in on the way. The first one went down an absolute treat. <laughs> good ale, yours as well. Mine was very good. Very and good. look at the size of this. That's a medium. That's a medium. <laughs> okay, in the UK that's a large. Oh, well, it genuinely yeah. is. So good. Welcome to America. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, sweet. There we go. Denali. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. I'm finally in Alaska. I've made it. I'm here. And I'm now about to start unpacking my bike from this box, which, yeah, I've just risked look up and it up actually. Got this little sign. But there we go basically says I had to open my bike up so somebody's seen it before I have hopefully it's not broken but now is the time to find out but the plan is really just to get everything I need ready to start going pretty alone and remote there's gonna be some supplies along the way but I need my bike to be in good shape good condition right let's get this bike put together So this is the start of cycling the Americas. <laughs> I'm not starting alone though today. I'm gonna to be cycling with Jim for the day. We're gonna camp up. It's been a wonderful stay. I could have stayed here for the next three months, to be honest, but I'd have been paying rent and board. <laughs> it's time to get on the road. Let's do this. We're leaving Anchorage. <laughs> These are the first miles in America. Just uh, cycling down the highway on a cycle path. It's good. Still with Jim. Because of the late start, today the ambition was set pretty low on where we're going to go. However, Ambition was set low for distance, not for beauty. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh, it's called Mirror Lake. See why? Look at that. Alaska, you beauty. So to finish today's ride, we're having a bit of uh, peanut butter and jam. This is homemade jam made by Bernice. Thank you very much. I know you'll watch this. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to be living on this for the next three or four months. <laughs> okay. So I've just uh, spoken to these wonderful people and they've invited me for, to join them for a barbecue. Thank you so much, Petrov. It's so appreciated. Uh, Petrov and Ludmina. Lud yeah, almost got that. He's got a blog. He does. Are from uh, Moldova. And Adrian. Adrian. Um, Adrian. And Elizabeth. Elizabeth uh, from Romania and Alaska. So we've got Jim. <laughs> You've already met Jim. Oh, thank you for inviting me, and uh, now it's on the old video, captured forever. Famous. On here. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, it's Indian pale ale. So good. Being invited to a barbecue in the park on my first wild camp in Alaska set the tone for a wonderful first day. In a country that is often seen and so divided, sharing our time together with strangers can often be the answer to break cultural barriers. Unknown to me, Bernice had secretly arranged to meet Jim and I to bring us pizza, wings and some beers. I had a feeling I was going to enjoy my time in Alaska. Jim, that was really good. Such a wonderful first day in Alaska and I'm so happy to be on the road! I'm cycling solo from Alaska to Argentina. And this is how it starts. You wanna see my new handlebar set up? Really happy with this. So there we go. Phone won't go there all the time. Usually it goes in there if it's raining. The music system, burst spray, food. I've got strawberries and trail mix in there how far I've gone, not very far, in there's my camera, and that's it. Yeah, I keep a few in the back. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Do you know how much this is an absolute treat? If anyone's ever going up to Denali National Park, is this where you often sell yeah, stuff here? Yeah. Right, Anchorage to Denali National Park, some killer elk jerky. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is all my yes. grandpa's. Oh really? So, What's your name? Dowling. Sorry, Dowling. Dowling Adam. Adam, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. mate. That means the world to me. Awesome. Yeah, no Thank problem. You so I know you got a long ways to go. So. This is going to give me the protein. At the moment, I'm living on like noodles. <laughs> oh yeah, I and believe. And peanut it. butter. Yeah. So this is proper protein. Yeah. Well, I wish the best of luck. Thank to you, you so much, buddy. Yeah, travel safe. Absolutely. Good legends. luck. Cheers. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. Wow. Free elk jerky. <laughs> yes, I, oh, I stopped and just asked him how much it was. I had in my mind, if it's five dollars, oh, at the most, I'll say, yeah, it's fifteen dollars a bag. I said, like, oh, sorry, but it's out of my price range. And he said, like, don't you worry about it. Got myself a bag of elk jerky. <laughs> That's getting open now, stuff it. Oh, dang, that's amazing. Having myself some oats and jam and honey. Damn, this is a good meal. This is a bit too much. But hey ho, good night's sleep next to the lake. Got a good seven or eight hours sleep. Today, I'm gonna just cycle north. Denali's 300k away. Thought I'd take my time, have a good meal, and then I'll be back on the road. So I'm two hours into my journey so far, pretty uneventful, just a lot of trees. And I came across this beautiful lake and a puncture happened at the same time. There we go, puncture. Little bubbles. It's the quick and easy way to find out where your puncture is. So I've just uh, fixed my puncture and then tourist group arrives. <laughs> Here we go. So I've been here now for maybe 40 minutes and I've just been told by the group of people behind me, actually told by one of the 13 year old lads, that uh, I can see Denali from here and I've just been like completely oblivious to it. I've just seen Denali for the first time. <laughs> oh, this makes up for not seeing Mount Fuji. It is so much more impressive. Right, I'm gonna change lens, zoom lens, and I'm gonna let you see it. But actually, I'll show you it as I'm seeing it. Right in the distance. That is Denali. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and cup my tea. I can take what I need to get. Hello. By. Oh. 
doesn't the make moose. it easy. The other piece of That's my first moose. I seen a moose. I seen a moose. When I return from the Of washing this really fast river. I think you've seen enough naked Adam river washes in previous videos, so I didn't film it. There we go, entering Denali State Park. As I was getting ready to camp, I've come across a little campsite by a river the Chilhut River. I think I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> you can see there, there's some of the panniers. I've met two women that are also cycling. Uh, I think they're just cycling for the weekend from Anchorage. And we're gonna spend the night cooking and camping together and getting eaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> I joined the two women to find a camp spot by the river, but instead we just found a lot of stagnant, mosquito-infested water. So we turned around and returned back to the main campsite. At the campsite we met Rob, who was riding his motorbike from Seattle to the top of Alaska. I ended up spending the rest of the night chatting with him. How to explain mushrooms? Mushroom and acid LSD would definitely be like cousins. The more you do, the uh, more intense all the effects will be. After an interesting night by the campfire, we were both up early, back on the open road. Nice kicking with you, yeah. man. I enjoy our evening. Such a good night. Yes. Am I might see you in Denali. It's not all that cold, but I thought I'd start a fire just to keep the mosquitoes away. Which is a pretty good idea, I think. This fire pit made the most of having a fire pit. Because there's not many other places I can actually start fires. Welcome to my tent. This is where I can stay dry when it's raining. You hear that thunder? <laughs> Glad I'm in here. Alright, let's get to bed. Bye. I leave you on this first episode of my adventure in Alaska at the edge of Denali National Park. At this point in my journey, my plan was fairly free. However, I had one aim, and that was to get to the Arctic Sea, right at the top of Alaska. The real journey and challenge would start from there. How would I get there? I wasn't sure at this point, but I had faith that it would all work out. <laughs>